Okay. Uh, one of the things uh, we want to make sure that uh, I, I see some of you uh, individuals are choosing to tune in to um, this channel. Uh, if we have class tomorrow, okay, if we are in session, let's get part one out of the way. So the best thing that you can do is your vocabulary uh, evaluations were handed back to you and you have your uh, lecture materials, just read through those and it's just general questions about the characteristics of reptiles. And, uh, and again, we do make some comparisons to that of the amphibians. So uh, listening was a big aspect of that. And like I said, read through some of those materials and just do the, the, the best that you can. So we're gonna go, what we are going to go over today is just an extension of what we had uh, discussed yesterday, and that was the diagrams that we are uh, want you to be responsible for, and that will be on Monday. Okay, so what that means is if we don't have class tomorrow, then part one, your vocabulary and general questions, will be on Monday, and then part two, your diagrams and this uh, single essay that we want you to be able to uh, to complete would be on Tuesday. And it's probably one of the aspects that we spent the most time on, and that would be as follows, okay? What are the four families of snakes, okay? And give an example of each family and why it belongs in that family. Okay, so our first one, and we'll just take these in order that uh, we had discussed in class. Okay, so for instance, again, um, it, you, if, you, if it helps to write an outline, go ahead and do that, and then write in complete sentence form, because that's what we would expect for uh, individuals in a higher level science class. Okay, so the first family, is viparidae. Okay. These snakes, well, not only, I was going to mention the fangs, well, we can do that, have retractable, uh, it's not quite right. Tractable fangs, and then as you would guess, for dealing with those that have fangs, they are venomous. Then are venomous. Okay. An example is anything from a copperhead to, uh, if we're gonna say a rattlesnake, we want you to be a little more specific with that. We, you could say Eastern Diamondback, okay? If you don't want Eastern, you can do a Western Diamondback, okay? Um, you could also say this, Copperhead, and a water moccasin. So those are three examples that you could use for snakes that are in the, fam the family Viparidae. Okay. All right. So that is our first family. The second family is Elapidae. Okay, 
So these snakes, let's think about this for just a moment. Why are certain species of snakes within this family? Okay. Okay, so there again, we're talking about fangs. These have short fangs, okay? And an example is a black mamba, okay? You could also say a green mamba. Or the, a third one you could use is a uh, king cobra, or hooded cobra, any one of those examples are snakes that have short, short erect fangs. They're venomous, okay? And, and notice we don't say that they are venomous because once we start talking about fangs, okay, those two concepts would go uh, hand in hand. So there's uh, four examples that you could use for that of family Elapidae. Yeah, okay, I'll just go ahead and hit pause rather than having to watch uh, erasing and writing. And but maybe it helps uh, as we're talking about this as we write it. Okay, the third family is Hydrophyidae. Okay. So then that's your clue right there where you're going to find these snakes, okay? These are sea snakes, okay? And are highly venomous because we've heard that on multiple occasions. An example is a sea crate, sea crate snake. I believe that's spelled correctly, K-R-A-I-T. Okay, so we've gone over Viperidae, Elapidae, Hydrophyidae, and then we just have one, one family left. Okay. Okay, the final or fourth family is Colubridae. Okay, so why would an animal or a snake belong in this family? So think about that for just a moment. This is the largest family. And just as important, and are what, do you think? If you said non-venomous, that would be correct. Okay, so then finally, an example, okay, we could say corn snake. Corn snake. Okay, you could go even bigger. Um, you could say um, a boa constrictor. Okay, anaconda, uh, python, any one of those are ones that you could put in this family of snakes because they are non venomous. Okay, so that is the lone uh, essay we want you to be able to, uh, to, be able to complete. You got your diagrams, it was that of the alligator and the snake, okay? So we've gone over that, and if I'm not mistaken, we still have that snake video to finish. So, why is that important? If we have class tomorrow, we're going to finish that video, okay? Then the rest of the time will be yours, okay? Then your first part of your exam will be on Monday, and then the second part of your exam will be on Tuesday.
Okay. Should we not have class tomorrow? Okay. Well, then we will finish that video on Monday. Part one of your exam will be on Tuesday. Part two will be then on Wednesday. All right. Thanks for tuning in and we will catch up to you next time.